Okay, welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at PowerPoint and the basics of getting a PowerPoint presentation started. Uh, as you can see, I've got PowerPoint open on my desktop. Uh, I've got the 2011 version of PowerPoint, so your version may be a little bit different than the one that I'm using in the ScreenFlow tutorial, but nonetheless it's very similar in the interface and how to uh, how to set up your presentation and so forth. So I'll walk you through that, okay? Uh, so this is just a blank presentation. There are many, many other designs. This is the default design that pulls up. Um, so the first thing that I want to do in my presentation is I want to pick a theme. So I'm going to go down here to theme, and you can see many, many themes that come into play. You can pick one uh, that you think will fit your presentation and use that for your PowerPoint. Um, so we'll just um, we'll just go with this one for now. So um, once you pick a theme out, um, then you start, you know, inputting your information. So in this case, we're going to talk about composers and their music, and um, we'll just use John Philip Sousa because I've already got a presentation created for him, and I'll show you that in just a second. So, so put the title in there, John Philip Sousa. If you want to put a subtitle in there, you can do that. Uh, it's very easy to do that and then of course all of your other editing all of your editing functions are under the home slide under the home tab so just make sure you're aware of that you'll change your font your size your size, all that etc etc so when I'm ready to start begin in putting information in I click up here to next slide and it automatically um, gives me another slide and I can begin typing uh, text up here if I want to add in images from the internet you can you can do that here by clicking on image and then you can import picture from file wherever it's saved on your computer or your desktop or if you have a, a, a file in clip art gallery you want to use you can do that as well if you also want to insert media here's the tab to do that you can insert a media a movie audio recordings uh, voiceovers that you've recorded previously you can do that here uh, now I want to go now to the uh, to the uh, to the uh, presentation that I've already created uh, you can see I picked a theme that is fitting of what we're talking about John Philip Sousa um, the color and the font size and style um, I put the life and music of John Philip Sousa as the title and then the subtitle as you can see is the March King so we'll go to the next slide you notice that the, the theme changes colors um, whoops. Um, but it doesn't lose the theme the thematic element so uh, a little bit of biographical information about John Philip Sousa and I got a, a graphic here of course I notated where I got it from the Library of Congress, Congress. Um, so make sure you always do that uh, and then I went on to talk about his education in music where he studied um, so on and so forth to just put some additional information there and then I also remember one of the uh, one of the um, required areas of the presentation is that students link historical events with the timeline of the composer they're discussing so in this case Sousa he was born in 1854 he died in 1932 so I just put some major events uh, that took place in that period just to kind of build a bridge there and make a connection to what things could have been like and then um, on the last slide I uh, I put some hyperlinks as you can tell they're underlined in a different color and when we play the presentation in a minute I'll show you how those direct you to YouTube where I found these recordings so as you can see creating a PowerPoint presentation is very very easy pick a theme <coughs> excuse me insert your text go to the next line insert your text if you want to put in a graphic it's easy as you can see you can adjust the size of the graphics and so forth you can move them around and uh, you can really manipulate this indie data within a PowerPoint presentation very very easily uh, and then auto you can see the bullets uh, it automatically sets it up so whenever you add another line of text 
it automatically um, adds another bullet for you and of course you can you can uh, take those out if you wish so now I'm going to go here to uh, play the slideshow and let me go back to the beginning you can see what it looks like full screen um, again it's just trying to stay with this theme trying to incorporate as much about this time period as I can uh, and you can see there and what I what I like about this project is because you know we're making a connection with history and music, and we're incorporating tower, uh, technology. And, and so, what a better way to do this uh, than to have students you know do the research about music, find some composers, put a PowerPoint presentation together, and then research about the music they wrote. Uh, I mean, that's what this is all about. So, as you can see, the hyperlinks uh, they're they're highlighted. Oops and uh, let me go back just arrow over and let's say we want to play Washington Post March you can see my finger there click on Washington Post March and it automatically opens up So this is a very, very recording of Washington Post March performed by the Marine Band in 1890. Uh, so that's—I thought that was kind of interesting. That's why I put that in there. So, so there you have it. And then again, it's just another way to, uh, you know, to draw students in and and get them working together and uh, and sharing about this history of music and American history and making the connection using technology so I hope you enjoy this project and uh, that's all for now we'll we'll talk to you later